Hey, welcome to today's video. In this video, we'll see how to unit test uh, a prime ng component. So the prime ng component that we'll be using is confirm dialog box. So here I, I already have a confirm dialog box and all implemented in, in my Angular app. So if you can see, when I click on this confirm uh, button, it shows this confirmation box. So we'll be we'll try to unit test uh, this confirm dialog model. Now let's uh, have a look at the code of the confirm dialog box here. Uh, as you can see here, uh, inside uh, app.compound.html, here I have the required HTML for the confirm dialog box. And inside the app.compound.es, here is the method that is being called on click of that button. So here we are using a confirmation service to fire the confirmation box here. So we'll be writing unit test case for this thing. So here, as you can see, uh, the prime ng component, the version number of this thing is uh, 12 that I'm using. So with that in mind, let's go to our app.compound.spec file. Uh, let's start by writing. So here, since it's a confirmation box, there will be two cases. One that the user clicks on the accept button. One he clicks on the cancel button. So we'll be writing unit test case for both those scenarios. So let's start by writing unit test case for when the per when the person clicks on uh, the accept button. So we should call this method uh, with accept button click. So I'll start by creating a instance of my component and all. Let's first create a fixture. This bit dot create component app component and component equals fixture dot component instance now once you have the component uh, we can get let's define a variable for a confirmed dialog which will be of type confirmed dialog now uh, using our fixture uh, we can get a reference to this thing to our confirmed dialog box uh, as you can see in the code uh, this So here, this is the one that, this is our thing. So this is P dialog. So what I'll do is I'll try to get a, get a, get a reference to this P confirm dialog box. So I'll just go to my code. Confirm dialog will be equal to fixture dot debug element dot query by CSS inside we can put in this thing dot component instance now that should give a reference to our confirm dialog box now once we have a reference to this thing what we can do is like we have uh, an accept button call here this callback so we'll spy on this button to see if the accept button has been clicked or not will be equal to let's spy on and uh, on our confirm dialog it has the uh, accept method we won't do anything we'll just do a call through so it means uh, we are simply spying on this thing and we are not modifying anything related to whatever is happening or whatever is already happening and what I'll do is I'll call the method here component dot uh, confirm so that triggers our confirmation dialog box now once we have that thing we need to do a fixture dot detect changes so that the changes are detected on the UI portion now once the changes have been detected we need to get a reference to our uh, button click this is the one that gives a reference to the yes button click so that's the accept one that I was referring to so here as you can see it's a uh, the button here as you can get a reference using this this class maybe p confirm dialog accept let's go here let accept btn equals to fixture or debug element dot native element dot I 
Library Selector. This is a reference to the Yes button click. Once we have a reference to the Accept button or the Yes button, we can simulate a click on that thing. So, actually, BDN dot. Click. Now, once that button has been clicked, uh, the call should go to this um, accept callback here and these all values should be set so uh, we can check we have already written uh, spy on this thing once we have clicked on this thing so once uh, we have clicked on the yes button we can expect the accept accept spy to have been called and we can also expect component dot uh, confirm success to true and confirm reject to false component dot from success to equal true and Expect component dot confirm reject to equal false. Now let's try running this thing. Okay, it says one fail zero success which is uh, cannot read property component instance of null component 35th line 35th line component pre-confirm dialog box let me just have a look uh, Okay, so this is a P confirm dialog box, not it's not a okay. So here it's a reference. So this is not a P one, it's not a class reference. We need to go by like this. Oh sorry. It's a P confirm dialog tag. Right? P confirm dialog tag. You save it, you run it again. So as you can see it's working pretty fine now we are able to execute this one it works fine now similarly you can write a uh, unit test case while while the user clicks on or like while simulating the no button click so what we can do is we can simply copy paste this thing i'll just copy this uh paste it here with uh no button click so here what we can do is i think you just need to check this all remains same the only things that change are like accept instead of accept it goes to cancel i guess what's the what's the other thing there let's have a look it's reject here so instead of this it will be reject reject and um, this would also change uh, it's not the accept button it's a cancel button cancel button and cancel button needs to be clicked or the no button needs to be clicked this is reject and this query selector changes uh, so if you go here you can see that no has a different class tag no button has a p confirm dialog reject so we need to change it there also dialog reject so that's a no button and expect reject to have been called and this these are just the opposite of what it was earlier so here in the reject confirm reject is true confirm success is false so i'll just toggle this thing it's false this thing is true i'll read on the unit test cases 
as you can see both the unit test cases ran successfully so this is how you can unit test uh, prime ng confirm dialog box let's also have a look at uh, at the code coverage of this thing so if you can go on the coverage folder in the elco reports uh, you can see that there is an index html file if i browse this thing i should be able to see the coverage so browse it in uh, you can see this is the coverage of the code and all so i already have some extra code there which is related to some other stuff so if you go inside src slash app here's the app.compound.es file uh, here these I, we haven't covered the function that we covered is like the confirm dialog box as you can see the confirm thing has been fully covered it's all green here uh, so hope you like this video do let me know your thoughts in the comments below thanks for watching